How's it going, everyone? Mr. Carefree, Richard Schwartz here, making his debut in Nintendo's. Now, uh, you know, I've never really faced Nico 101 before, you know? He's a good, I know him, though. Good dude. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous about this one, because not only has Nico gotten better when it comes to uh, movie and inner geekdom stuff, but uh, normally I usually do studying, like, really a lot of studying, and I really didn't say this much because we've had some really heat waves here in L.A., but, you know, I'm hoping that my my just training in the inner geekdom is going to pay through. Maybe if the movie questions, I'll know if I know them. But no matter what, this should be a great match. And when you're facing against me, it's always carefree. That's the way it got to be. Let's do this thing. Some of you may not know this, but in my mind, this is a grudge match. And it's for some of the strangest reasons you might have ever heard. The last time Richard and me were on a call together, his internet was atrocious and mine was working just fine. Now, somehow I feel like his internet is working better than mine and mine has just gotten progressively, oh, progressively worse. So, I want to kick the ass of someone who has better internet than myself. Uh, but either way, Richard, I'm expecting this to be a fun match. Um, this is a pseudo inner geekdom match in its own way because thankfully the rules allowed us to pick categories that we both know. The rules won't be the same in a few more matches, so I figured capitalize on it now, take a match in here, and then maybe wait until there's an actual geek division here. I don't know where this promo is going. I'm tired. There's a guy working outside uh, on, this, on the neighborhood's water supply. Apparently there's a leak, so I might not get to shower before I go to bed. I have no idea what's going on. Let's play. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a three-round match in the Movie Trivia Challenge. Introducing first, with a record of 0-0, oh oh, he is the Cosmic Night Theory, Nico Suave Rigoli. Since there's no Geek Division, this will be the one time I play here. And his opponent, he also with a record of 0-0, oh oh, he is Mr. Carefree Richard. Whoa. And you know, Nico, when you're talking about the grudge match, I thought you, thought you were talking about the me and Jeremy match of <laughs> last year. <laughs> that God, that feels so long ago. Also, yeah. what the fuck happened to my camera? Why, why is it out of focus now? I mean, yeah. I can see you, but you know, it's fine. All right, you're fine. All right, so guys, let's get into round number one. The rules, which works like this. They have uh, eight questions, four from Nico's strengths, four from Rich's strengths. Um... And it's just like any other round one, you have to write down on your whiteboard or piece of paper. Say at the exact same time, you have 15 seconds. You get it right, you gain one point. Nothing happens if you miss it. You understand? Mm -hmm. You have three extensions and one challenge. Cool. All yeah. right, guys. So let's get into the first question, which is the category of Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. In Rogue One, the Star Wars story, what is the name of the tropical planet in which the final act take, takes place? I'm talking to myself right now, but I really enjoyed Rogue One. After this question, I'm going to shut my camera off and turn it back on, see if that refocuses it. All right. Five, four. I'm going to use an extension. Two, one. Pins extension. down. Extension. Uh, start which, which, with. Which, Richard's using his oh. extension. Oh, sorry. Did you not hear me? No, I didn't hear you. Okay. I I heard you. You're good. Okay. All right. I got it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We start with Nico. It is Scarif. That is correct for one point. Rich. I was blanking on the name until I remember my retirement match against Jay. Scarif. <laughs> that is correct. That one was the more. question that took me out. <laughs> Alright, guys. Question number two is in the category of MCU. Question is, in Spider-Man Homecoming, what is the name of the group that takes over the salvage and cleanup of superhero battles and puts tombs out of work? <clears> hmm. <throat> I think Tom Holland Spider-Man might be my favorite. Of Definitely all the best. Of 
definitely the best of definitely him. the best. And I also think he's had some of the best movies out there. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Rich. I didn't have it, so I just put a stupid answer. I said Tomb Salvage. <laughs> that is incorrect, Nico. This was supposed to be a show on ABC, and it got canceled before the pilot could even air. Damage Control. That is correct. All right, guys, your third question is the category of Rocky slash Creed. How many Rocky movies have been directed by Sylvester Stallone? Looking for just a number. Crap. <laughs> Enters in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Nico. I choked on this one. I think it's four, but I think I'm wrong. Four is correct. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't think I was right. I also said four. I, I thought it was one off. <laughs> the, the four movies were uh, two, three, four, and Balboa. All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of Harry Potter slash The Wizarding World. In the Fantastic Beast films, what type of animal is Frank that Newt tries to return to its native land of Arizona? Looking for the type of creature. It answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Rich. This, this seems wrong. I said Thunderbird. That is correct, oh. Nico. I am still bad at Harry Potter creatures. I wrote a skidly wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That is the lost cousin of a Teletubby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your next question is in a category that also has uh, some type of creatures. How to train your dragon. Yay. Your question is, who voices Astrid, the girlfriend of Hiccup, in How to Train Your Dragon series? It's 3-3 three, three right now. Great match so far, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, we start with Nico. She was in a Disney Channel original movie, I believe, called Gotta Kick It Up. It's America Ferrera. That is correct. On both ends, Rich. Uh, I didn't put the A. I don't think there's an A in there. I put America Ferrera. Ferrera. You are wrong. Okay. If I, you, if are wrong. wrong. You, you can give yeah. me give me the wrong then. Funny story, I had a uh, someone in my elementary school who was also in that film. Oh, really? Oh, cool. She played the smart one, the little preppy. <laughs> the little smart curator, the preppy one. All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of Disney animated. What type of creatures keep Quasimodo company in the bell tower in the Hunchback of Notre Dame? He answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Rich. Gargoyles. That's correct, Nico. This was also apparently a show on Disney. Uh, Gargoyles. Yeah, that is correct. It was a great show too. Your next question is in the category of Pixar. Who is playing the Buzz Lightyear video game at the very beginning of Toy Story Two? Man, that was fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, uh, Nico. He struggles with button pushing because of his little arms. It's Rex. That is correct. Rich. To quote another, he probably wasn't thinking this through. It was Rex. Meet the Robinsons. That's either. Another dinosaur. <laughs> All right, guys. And your final question is in the category of fantasy films. 
Who plays Dr. Wonka, the father of Willy Wonka, in 2005's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Holy mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never thought about this at all. Says everybody who, who's ever watched this movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Rich. He was in Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. Christopher Lee. That is correct. Nico. I feel like such a dummy now. I wrote John Hurt. Oh, so at the end of round number one, we have a tie six to six. One. All right, guys. So at the end of round number one, we have we are tied six to six. But Nico gets to choose if he wants to. Uh, go first or defer. I am choosing to go first. All right. So here's how round number two works. Um, they bo uh, Both Rich and Nico have two strengths. They will hear a quote from it. In order to get two points, I need the character and the actor. You get one right but miss the other. Your opponent can steal for one point. You get both of them wrong, and your opponent can steal for two points. Um, and then at the end, we have a bonus question which will be asked to both competitors. They have to write it down. Worth four possible points. I need character, actor, movie, and year, each worth one point apiece. Uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> will you tell us which one we got right and wrong, depending yes. on if we only got one point? Yes. Okay, so I had a strategy to maybe hedge my bets for one question, but now I'm not certain if I want to do that. <laughs> All right, Nico, so your first uh, quote is in the category of Star Wars. And your quote is, you are no Vader. You are just a child in a mask. Andy Serkis, Supreme Leader Snoke. That is correct for two points. And your second quote is in the category of how to train your dragon. Your quote is, most people would leave, not us. We're Vikings. We have stubbornness issues. Hiccup Horrendous Haddock the Third, played by Jay Baruchel. That is correct for two points. All right, Rich, are you ready for your quotes? <clears throat> sure. All right, so your first strength is in the category of MCU. Okay. I, I want you to break into a place and steal some shit. <clears throat> Okay, I'll give a sec. Uh, Hank Pym, Michael Douglas. That is correct for two points. I just love that quote. I get Michael Douglas confused with another actor. That's why I had to just... <laughs> and your second strength you chose was Harry Potter. It is, the, it is the quality of one's convictions that determines success, not the number of followers. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. Quality of one's convictions that determines success, not numbers of followers. Five, four. Uh, Dumbledore, Michael Gambon. Chance for a two-point steal, Nico. Huh. So if it's not Dumbledore, then it's not Richard Harris either. Um... Five, four, three, two. Extension, one. extension, extension. Okay. Hmm. Minerva McGonagall, Maggie Smith. That is incorrect. The great answer. I'm just curious. Was it? Uh, was it? Uh, Sirius Black. Was I, no. I, I? Okay, I don't know who that is then. It was Remus Lupin, David Thewlis. Oh, yeah, I was... I just watched Prisoner of Azkaban today. All right, guys, so your bonus question, in which you both have to write them down, to the category of Geek Mixed Bag. Quote is, By bloodshed do the gods make known their will. 
in a character, actor, movie, and year. Each worth one point apiece. Five, four, three, um, two. Um, extension. Extension? Okay. This is a tough one. <laughs> Five. I'm thinking of the wrong movie, four, then I get nothing. Three. Two, one, pens oh, down. No, extension, extension. Oh. I swear, this that's all my extensions too. So if I'm screwed, I am screwed. Because I, I, I just, yeah. Okay. This is wrong. This is wrong. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Rich. All right, I said 300, 2008, King Leonidas, Rob Brotler. All incorrect. Nico. Yeah. Well, um, this is very awkward because I had 300, 2006, Leonidas, Gerard Butler. <laughs> this is all incorrect. The correct answer is King Orm or Ocean Master, Patrick Wilson, uh, Aquaman, 2018. I was thinking Wonder Woman Justice League at first, but I wasn't thinking Aquaman. <laughs> <coughs> All right, guys. So oh. at, at the end of round number two, we have Nico in the lead with eight. Richard behind with eight. But no, anything can happen. No, yeah, uh, Nico has ten. I have eight. Yeah, you said, I, you, said, you said we both have eight, but you said I was in the lead, which is mathematically oh. impossible. <laughs> yeah, Nico has ten. Rich has eight. There it's just because Hunter likes you more. It's a. It's, that's why he's exactly <laughs> I will not show my bias. Um, but, all right, guys. So, Ethan can happen in round number three, which is our betting round. We have three questions. You will hear the category bet between one and three points. You get it right. You gain those points. You miss it. You lose those points. All right? Mm -hmm. The first category you can bet points on is Rocky slash Creed. Bet then five, four, three, two, one. Rich. Uno. One. Nico. I'm also going Uno. One. All right. And your question is, what was the boxing nickname of Adonis in 2015's Creed? We're looking for his nickname. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Nico. Uh, this is definitely wrong. I wrote the mighty. That is incorrect. Rich. I just said stallion. That is also incorrect. The correct answer is Hollywood. Ah, there, yeah. yeah. Yep. Right, so Rich has seven. Nico has nine. Going into the second question, which is the category of the MCU. Which stands for Marvel Cinematic Universe, I believe. Five, four, three, two, one. Nico. I'm going three. Three? Rick. I'm also going three. Wow. <clears throat> Heavy hitters. I like it. Your question is, in the MCU, Darren Cross becomes what supervillain? We're looking for his name. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Richard. Yellow jacket. That is correct for three points. Nico. I think one of these fuckers stung me a few days ago while I was out for a walk. It's yellow jacket. That is correct. All right, so it's Nico with 12, Richard with 10. Going into the final question, which is in a new category, Dwayne The Rock Johnson Films. Mm. What are you going to bet on for The Rock? Question is, can you smell what he's cooking? Five, four, three, two... One, uh, Richard. I went two. Two. Nico. I'm going one. One. All right, guys. Your question is, what actress co-stars with Dwayne Johnson as his wife in 2018's Skyscraper? Good game, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I've never seen this movie, so that doesn't help. Uh... Five, four, three, two, one. Pin down, Nico. I wrote a white lady. <laughs> Richard I had no idea good game Nico I said Rosario Dawson and your winner Nico Suave Goalie alright the correct answer was star of Scream Nev Kimble yeah Nev Kimble is part of this part of my mind <laughs> All right, so the bottom four, I believe, was Nico with 11, Richard with 8, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, guys, let's get into the interviews. Right now, we begin with our winner, Nico Suave Regoli. How, how are you feeling, man? You came in, you got to win or not? Uh, yeah. I have no faith that I'll ever beat Corey Quinto for that title, but I'm happy to say that after three years, I've finally gotten what was technically a general movie trivia win. Uh, it's like, just, hey, this is a red branded division. You can see my name in red right here. So technically, this is general movie <laughs> trivia. It counts, even though the majority of the questions were IG related. It, 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 it's still a general match. So I will ride that victory high and mighty. Uh, and I will ride off into the sunset until MTC decides to create a geek division. Um, that which may you never said happen, is, my brother. Well, then I'll just continue to do stuff in combat wrestling trivia then. Uh, but hey, it was nice to try this at least once besides the free for all. And I was, I came out victorious. So hooray for me. <laughs> yeah, man, you really showed up tonight, man. You, uh, you did really well in round one. You crushed round two, and you played conservatively in round three, and that, that's what got you the win. So I want to congratulate you on a game well played. Yeah, when the, the bet – I'm so used to betting rounds being from zero to two, uh, but Nerd Entertainment Network does mm -hmm. things differently, so you got to really keep in mind that those three points, if you, mm -hmm. if you bet them, they could come back to bite you. So the category has to be right. And also, you yeah. got to factor in, you, you can't bet zero. You can only bet one uh, at least per question. So, like, mm -hmm. I had to think that in mind. I really had to focus on the math, and I was just like, okay, if I do this and I'm wrong, but if Richard does this and he's wrong, then I can still make that work. So it's just like, I'm very glad that up until trigonometry gave me a heart attack in 11th grade, I was very good at math. <laughs> um, Yeah, but... We would love to have you back if you ever decide to come back. Uh, if not, we understand. Um, but at least you can go out on top with a 1-0 record in this league. Not a lot of people can do that. Uh, so congratulations on your win. Um, that's been your winner, Nico Swallow. We're going we right back with Richard Swartz. We are back with the runner-up, Mr. Carefree himself, Richard Swartz. 
you showed up tonight. It was a close game all the way through. Um, we would love to have you back, of course. Uh, you're always welcome here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. I mean, we retired after round one. Uh, you know, I missed one of my quotes, which, you know, that's, it's a pretty tough quote. So, you know, granted, it was a quote. I just haven't watched Prisoner of in a minute. So, you know, it's a tough quote. And, you know, it's it, the, that quote sounded like it could have been like Dumbledore or McGonagall. Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's a tough. I mean, Nico played a great game. He got his two quotes down, came betting round, mm -hmm. and, you know, I bet what I had to in Creed. I bet what I had to in MCU. Came down to the rock. I was a little cheeky because he was already up by two. So I said bet two. And it happened to be a rock movie I just I haven't seen. So it happens. It, if it was another movie, it could have gone the other way. But it was. I, I had fun. Nico played great. And I'm always – I'll come back for sure. Awesome. We would love to have you back again. Because um, I hope everyone has fun in these leagues. Um, and I know you definitely have fun. I mean, that's literally mm -hmm. your whole – your whole personality is just, I'm here to have fun. You're carefree, which I love mm -hmm. that. Um, so is there anybody that you want to take on next, anyone you're looking at, or, or uh, just? No, I just take on whoever wants, whoever I face next. Doesn't matter who I play. All right, guys, that has been your runner-up. Mr. Carefree Richard Schwartz will be right back at the desk. All right, guys, that was a very fun, entertaining back and forth match. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to Nerd, and let me know down below. If you guys are watching, we'll see you guys soon. Peace.